This video will introduce properties of the scalar triple product. Number one, a dot b cross c is a scalar. This means this is just a number, not a vector. There is no direction. Point number two, the scalar triple product is unchanged by a cyclic change of vectors involved. Means a dot b cross c is equal to b dot c cross a equal to c dot a cross b. What does it mean by a cyclic change of vector involved? Can we find a simple way to remember this? Just imagine this. I'm going to explain to you a cyclic change of vector involved. I have vector a dot b cross c. I'm going to write a, b, c first. This a, b, c means a dot b cross c. Imagine that a, b, c are three person queuing up for three apples on the left. So there are three delicious apples on the left, but there's one condition. Everybody can take only one apple at one time. So A is in front. A, take the apple, finish it. And if A want to take the apple again, A cannot take the apple immediately. A must join the queue again. That means A must go back to the queue so that B can enjoy the apple. So B is in front now. C will be in second position. A will be the last. So B can now have his three apples. And after B finish his apple, and if B want another apple, B cannot take another one. And B must join the queue at the end. So now C is in front. A is again. B is third now. And this is what we mean by second chain. That means that A, B, C means A dot B cross C. B, C, A means B dot C cross A. C, A, B means C dot A cross B. This second property say that A dot B cross C is the same as B dot C cross A is the same as C dot A cross B. This is what we mean by scalar triple product is unchanged by a cyclic change of vectors involved. Now let's look at the third properties. Third properties says that what happens if the change is not in cyclic order? Then there will be change in sign. For example, A dot B cross C is negative of B dot A cross C. Why is it so? Because this change is not in cyclic order. Now, let's look at point number four. Point number four say that A dot B cross C is equal to A cross B dot C. That means dot and cross can be interchanged. As you can see from here, a dot b cross c, you change the dot to cross, cross the dot, you get a cross b dot c. But notice the location of a packet has changed. This is because of a dot b cross c, and we know that if you do it slowly, a dot b cross c by circuit chain is b dot c cross a and eventually c go in front b join the end of a q c dot a cross b u dot v and v dot u the same so you can interchange these two c dot a cross b is a cross b dot c and that is why end up interchanging the dot with cross and cross with dot this point number four Point number five, if 
the magnitude of A dot B cos B equal to zero, then A, B, C are Kropana. Now, what is the meaning of Kropana? The meaning of Kropana means A, B, C lies on the same plane. That means you can find a plane containing A, B, and C. Why is this so? Absolute value of A dot B cross C is the volume of the parallel pipe. So A dot B cross C, suppose this is equal to zero, is the volume of parallel pipe formed by A, B, C is equal to zero. Okay, so this is a power pipe here. So volume of the of the power pipe is zero means there is no volume here. It really means is that this is not a 3D object, it's just a plane object. So we conclude that A B C this three vector lies on the same plane. You can find a plane containing this A B C. In short, this A, B, C are Kopana. That's the end of this recording.